Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> it is day two of the crazy citywide sales. <laughs> we got so much stuff yesterday. A lot. I mean, I don't know, I probably spent 1500 to $1,800. Don't know the exact number right now. But we got a lot and it was all great stuff. Big scores. Big scores. It was a crazy day. Best yeah. day ever, probably, for garage sailing. It's day number two, yeah. so a lot of them are going to be a little more picked over, but most of the scores we got were from asking. And, it, and it's only Friday, so there's going to be more sales that are just starting today. Yep. There will be some. So excited to see what's popping up. And uh, and we're going to the, an area of the town that we didn't even hit at all yeah. yesterday. Like, there's so much that we won't even get to get to. So Small town, and yet there's still probably over 100 sales that we haven't even touched. Oh, yeah, well over that. It's, so. The participation rate in the town is just crazy. It's like every fourth house in the entire town having a sale. Yeah. So it's amazing. We're going to bring you guys with us. Here we go. Let's do it. Alright, we just picked up a PS1 with controller, PS3 with a stack of games, and PS4 games. Yep. Show them the games. So nothing too crazy on PS3, but the PS4 ones are pretty nice, like Star Wars Battlefront, Horizon, The Order, uh, and then two PS3 Sony controllers in great shape for 75 bucks. They were asking probably 150 So... Sweet little score, and we just got the first sign of competition. There's, yeah. there's a guy also asking for old video games and which, listing them off. Which is which is impressive. I mean... Yeah, good for him. But we're going to beat him. We're going to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't buy this stuff, so that's kind of silly. So, But we're going to get out ahead of him, and we're going to make it happen. So, good start to the day. Second sale. Yep. And uh, let's, let's go hit some it. more. All right, just paid 15 bucks for that box of CDs and a few DVDs. Let's keep going. Is it like, uh, is it un at like, about 10? Let me look at what's actually here. Everything works. Okay. Turtles. Um, <laughs> all right, so we just picked up all that NES and N64 stuff you got for a, that you saw for a hundred bucks. Zero X Castlevania and one other good game on the N64 and then the NES had Mario 3, Zelda, Castlevania 3, Turtles and some other games and there were two systems and then they were like oh yeah we've got another bin with a couple other things N64 with cords and extra jumper pack a PS2 and there was a few, like a PS3 controller two PS3 controllers two PS3 controllers and a PS2 controller for 15 yeah and then got a few other things, some cords, cables for Apple, Mafia 3 for a buck, and this Nyko Mini Boss for one buck. So that was a sweet sale. Let's keep going. Alright, just picked up, there's an Atari 2600 with a couple games, an Atari 600, 600 XL. XL. And a like Atari modem. Yeah, something. One zero three zero. Everything is in good shape. Yep. All the boxes. Donkey Kong, Frogger, Pac-Man's in there. A couple joysticks. Thirty bucks. Great old score. Just got this box full of about eighty CDs for five bucks. 
and they wanted a buck a piece, but they were like, let's just blow it out day two of the sale. Sometimes you just got to offer. Yep. The thing with CDs is that honestly, like people just want to get rid of them. People mm -hmm. don't use them anymore. So you can typically pick them up for about 10 cents a piece. At 10 cents, they're a good buy. Any yep. more than that, not as much because there's a lot of them that aren't worth anything, but mm -hmm. for 10 cents, why not? No doubt. One dollar, no holla. Complete. All right, so competition is, is out there today. We're definitely experiencing that. It's like they forgot Thursday, most of the sales start, but we're still doing pretty well. Picked up a Sony micro cassette recorder. Love these things. You guys get micro cassette recorders. 50 cents, amazing. And then a Garmin Nuvi um, GPS, which I paid $3.50 for. $4 total for the pair. And Thane's going to go back and try to pick up a Bushnell Compact 800 range finder because I looked it up after I left. It's worth about 50, 60 bucks. Do some negotiating. Do some negotiating, and I'm going to go to the sale next to it. So let's keep going. Here we go. So. He will not budge. Really? Yeah. And it's got a broken clip. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, 25, because I was like 20. He's like, nope. Huh. 25. If I don't sell it, I'll just keep using it. I was using it yesterday. So. Dang. So. He worked with me on my stuff, but apparently. Yeah, he, he, and he said, he goes, this is the only thing in the entire sale that I will not budge on. <laughs> all right. So. Well, that's all right. On to the next iPod Nano, 8 gigs of glory for $1. $1. Bob. Just got some cords for $0.25. Cents. So Bartle Toads. Just picked up two Sony Walkmans for 2 bucks a piece. They had four a piece. They didn't have headphones, so I used that as a negotiation to get them down to two a piece. All right, so we just picked up a handful of games, PS4, a lot of sports games. Some are like 18 so there might be a little bit of value and some 3DS games, DS games, Disney Infinities. There's the games and about 10 figures in there. And then an Atari plug and play for 35 bucks. They had three bucks a game pretty much, two bucks on the DS ones and three on the PS4. So it was probably marked at like 80, we got it for 35. I'd say it's probably gonna be worth about 60 for everything yep. with some trade-in. They meant to say 25. Yeah, I meant to say 25 <laughs> and I was like, oh crap. Slipped out with 35, but still, Pretty solid deal. Yeah, not bad. Yep. So let's keep going. Okay. All sorts of games. Let's see if the games are in there. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ratchet and clank. Oh, there's NFL Street 2 down there. That's a good one. Oh, my goodness. So many sports. PS1 as well. Want to just I can just take the entire bin. All right, Thane. So, so I got some redemption. <laughs> yeah, we. He, he felt bad <laughs> after uh, after slipping up that last sale and saying thirty five instead of twenty five. Normally um, the shameless negotiator. Oh, dude, it was bad. <laughs> I went to the very next sale and uh, asked for video games. And I told him he could make up for it here. Yeah, <laughs> and, and uh, they. She's like, I think we have uh, one of those old Playstations. So when she took a look and there were a PS2 original, a PS2 Slim, and a PS1, mm -hmm. plus about 50 PlayStation 2 games, mm -hmm. and then about... A bunch of controllers. A bunch of controllers, about 10 to 15 uh, PS1 games, a ton of cables, and everything is in really, really good shape. One of my best, one of my like Love favorite game. games. It's all complete and minty. Battlefront 2 was in there, yeah, yep. right there, and then... Yeah. NFL Street 1, NFL Street 3. So $25. I ain't hollering about that. Whew. Good deal. All right. Open that up. No, 
twice. Spectrobes of oh, this one says Luigi's Mansion on it. Open that up. Nice. That's better. I won't go in there. That's a DS case. Not gonna go. <laughs> How about that Spider-Man one? It's not a. Oh, bummer. Let's see if any other ones have stuff written on them. Open that one up. Alright, so just wrapped up at a sale. Um, it was actually a sale we were at yesterday. Um, Chase was arguing with me that we weren't. We were. <laughs> I stand corrected. Right. Um, and they, he's like, oh yeah, our son has some DS games and stuff like that. But they weren't out of the sale. We were like, hey, well, you should bring it out. Maybe we'll be, be back tomorrow. We were back and he brought them out. So, um, got them for a buck a piece. So we have this guy. But I want to buckle up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the beeping van. Yeah. Seatbelt unbuckled. All right. There you go. Zelda. Boom. Not that. It's actually... Dark Moon. Is it Dark Moon? Uh, yep. yep. Luigi's, Luigi's Dark, Moon. Dark Moon. And then Star Wars. So, Can't go wrong. Buck a piece. Easy sale for a buck. All right. We just asked for games. This is unrelated, but we picked up two PSP systems, two PS2 controllers, and three PSP games for 30 bucks. And um, they've got more. they got to get their son to get home and go through it, and he's going to be home around 1 o'clock. And she said she'll call when he gets home, so she said there's bins full of stuff. So hopefully we get some more later. Got ourselves another DVD VCR combo, Toshiba. Marked at five, offered two, landed at three. Good deal. Good deal. Probably worth 50. So a sale just popped up on Facebook. They figured it out 12 minutes ago. They've got an N64 bundle, an Xbox bundle, and a PS3 bundle um, for like 65-ish a piece. It looks like there's games and stuff. We can't quite tell what's there, but it's 12 minutes away. We're going to head right there and see if we can pick it up and if it's still there. And thank got that for 12 bucks. iPod Touch. Got some games. Oh, really? Some more games. All right, guys, it's going to be hard to quantify what just happened, but we got an N64 with games, a lot of negotiating. It's got the expansion pack, Turok 2, had Goldeneye with a beat-up label, an Amco Museum, a couple others, and two controllers. We pretty much paid about 60 bucks for that, because it was 120 for that and the PS3, which is 160 gigs in the box with three games and a controller. And then got him to bring out the uh, Game Boy bundle and brought out this minty fresh box. Beautiful. It's got some games in there. In the case, some interesting looking games actually. And we had to pay up for that with the box. <clears throat> and then he threw in a Game Boy, another one, that was kind of rough shape for 60 altogether. And we got a Sega Game Gear with about 25 games for 50. And one of the games is Rystar, and there's actually some kind of cool games in there besides that, so pretty awesome stuff. Alright, so here's everything from the $120 Game Boy and Game Gear purchase. There's the Game Gear in good working condition with 23 games. Actually 24 because in the back is Rystar, which is actually a pretty awesome game to get for it. There's Prince of Persia, a couple like decent individual games that are worth selling individually. Home Alone, Star Wars, pretty cool mix. The Game Boy is in really good shape. And then comes with nine games, including Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, uh, Battle Unit Zeoth, Battle Bowl. Ghostbusters 2 is a very rare 
Um, pretty rare game for the Game Boy, worth 30, 40 bucks. Tetris, and a couple others up there. And then there's some Game Gear manuals, the Game Genie. He threw in an extra Game Boy system. Hopefully that cleans up. I can put a new screen on it, and maybe that'll work. But it looks like that might be pretty much fried, those pixels on the top. And then I got to show you guys the box that the Game Boy came in. So this was kind of like a negotiation piece. <laughs> There's Tatey. He wasn't really willing to throw this in, but I worked it to get this thrown in. And this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Got the shrink wrap on it. Just incredible. Incredible condition. So 120 bucks is what I paid for the Game Gear and Game Boy bundle. I just wanted to show you guys everything because it might seem initially like I paid too much. But if you actually break it down, this was an incredible deal. Um, just the Game Boy and the original box might even get back all the money just because of the amazing condition. You throw in the Ghostbusters being a $30, $40 game, and then 24 games on the Game Gear, the Game Genie, the extra Game Boy, all the other games. Quite quite a value for $120. Bucks. Thinking what games were I was really attached to. Yep. Alright, one more, hundred bucks. Two PS2s, those figures, about eighty games. Take it over and there. six controllers. You wanna grab the controllers when he comes? Yep. <laughs> Alright, we just went to a, a call back and it was the lady's neighbor who had a DS that they were trying to um, recover and get her to sell. She knew that she wanted to sell it, she sold me some Game Boys last year. So she was holding it for me. Asking a hundred bucks, that was too much. Um, I made an offer of 40 and we settled at 50. All the games are complete, so that helps this bundle. So you can see Mario Kart DS, Final Fantasy 3, some Lego games, cars, Transformers. So just some decent games there. And then there's some more Lego games, Tony Hawk, Ben 10 and more there, Carnival, Scribble Knots. So nothing crazy, the Mario Kart and Final Fantasy 3 were definitely the nicest. Whew, that guy just came cruising through here. <laughs> um, black DSi. It's in decent shape. It's got something jammed in the stylus slot. Don't know what that's all about. And then two chargers, so that was 50 bucks. And then after we bought the neighbors, they're like, oh yeah, we've got one of those too. So the the mom was like, oh, I probably won't be able to find it. And, of course, the kids always know where the stuff is. <laughs> like in 10 seconds. The daughter runs in the house, 10 seconds later comes out with it. And it's got some nice games. There's five, 15 games. Um, and you're going to notice, maybe you can tell, Mario Bros, Mario Bros. Are those the Mario Bros? Yep. yep. There's uh, Cooking Mama 3. Another one of those right here. Yep. So there's a few decent games. The Mario Bros are obviously nice. The cool thing about this one is it is the XL. It's the pink DSi XL in excellent condition. 30 bucks. I wonder what the percentage is between boys that have DS's and girls that have DS's. A lot of girls have DS's. Because there's lot. a lot. Yeah. Both of these that we just bought were owned by girls. Yep. And we usually, if you see a sale and there's, you know, girls families with kids of girls that are like 15 years old yeah you can almost guarantee there's a Wii and there's a DS <laughs> there's gonna be a Wii for so sure we, we often walk up to those sales and we're like well we're gonna buy their DS and their Wii systems it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so man it's been a day we've spent like 2,500 bucks on the weekend yeah already two days two days this there's not any empty space back there yeah like this is all we got what you can see here. We're trying to keep the back window uncovered, but holy crap. I would it's, say it, it's lunchtime right now. It's on the lunchtime second day. on second day. So we've still got a little bit to go, but 
We'll probably go until the money runs out. Probably got like 300 bucks left, maybe yep. a little less now because we just spent 80. Yep. So here we go. <laughs> this has been the craziest two days of garage sailing ever. Driving. Oh, uh. it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. That was the craziest two days of sailing ever. It's 2.59. We went non-stop from, well, we left at, what, 5 in the morning yeah. yesterday, and then sailed from 7 to 6, Yep. and then we sailed from 7 to 3. We might still hit a couple more on the way home, but I, we probably won't get any more. It's yeah. just been crazy. We were trying to, like, um, add up things that we got. Eight PS2 bundles. Yep. Six PS3 bundles. Yep. Four Xbox 360 bundles. Yep. At least four DS bundles. Yep. Two PSPs. Two PSPs. Three Game Boy Advances. Uh, a couple Wii's. A probably, Wii, probably four. Uh, yeah. A Wii U. Xbox Wii U, One. Xbox One. Uh, two at least two original Game Boys. Three. Yeah. Because you said that we got one, one in yesterday. the super 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 minty box. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, five hundred plus games. Yep. Easy. I mean. Hundreds and hundreds, a thousand plus CDs, CDs. Uh, probably about eighty DVDs. Just those kids ones from that one sale. Got got the the big old boom box. Yeah. Sony explode. Sony explode. Got a bunch of Star Wars gear. Camera. Oh, the Star gonna, Wars gonna stuff. Gonna have to do a really extended video. Really oh, looking yeah. at all that. I'm gonna have to do that. There's a beautiful case of vintage Star Wars. I haven't even shown you guys yet. Yeah. Like with the weapons. Oh man. Oh, it's incredible. It's wait, wait nice. for that video. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. We got at least five of these uh, combo DVD VHS players. Yep. I, I think we got three kick drum pedals. Yeah. Just <laughs> drum pedals. Um, at least three or four micro cassette recorders. And I'm pretty sure that summary has barely scratched the surface. Yeah. For what's so much here. more. Like, unreal amount of stuff. So spent approximately $2,600, $2, two days of garage sailing, probably projected. I'd say three times. Yeah. So probably probably close to $7,000, $8,000 of profit. Yeah. That's insane. It's crazy. Three to four times. Yeah. <laughs> what else could you say? Go garage sailing. <laughs> Go garage sailing. The <laughs> opportunity is there. I might have to hire somebody to start listing because this is a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I work 40 hours a week doing this full time, and it's a blessing to be able to do it for a living. So if you're down on your luck, go to some garage sales. Yeah. And what's, some what's the number one thing that you would say that we do that helps us get stuff at the garage sales? The thing with garage sales is, like, what you see on the tables is only, like, a small percent of what's available. Like, mm -hmm. the ask. The ask is everything like every single sale you go to you know certain key things like 3ds's nintendo wii's mm -hmm. um ipods ask because a lot of times people don't think about it it's been in a drawer yeah. it's been in the basement they don't think about it, ask and they'll go and grab it and you can get them for five ten fifteen bucks half the stuff in here is from that from the ask not even in the sale just the ask yeah and, and, and we realize that this these two days this isn't normal no this this is five times what we would normally get because the entire town packs up has a sale and there's not a ton of video game competition it's just a unique circumstance but there's opportunities in your city especially if you live in the united states that's what all i can speak for yeah but yeah always ask be specific and be friendly yeah and be honest it's amazing how far you can get with just saying hey how you doing today to start as soon as you get yeah. out of the sale just greeting just them saying conversational. hi yeah it's good for sure we had a great time. Thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>